Hello guys and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to actually use the bot. So first what we're going to do is we're going to start the bot. Is You go to your bot folder as we set up in a video before. You click get bash and then you type in pm2 start eco or a dot eco system dot json and then so as you can see the bot is online right now um, you can close out of this window now you just have to wait a few minutes before it starts up like on steam that it says it's online so I'll be right back okay so as you can see right now the bot is running it says TF2 Autobot in a non-Steam game, so let's go to my other profile, which I gave um, my Steam ID to be the host of it. So let's open message. So I'm gonna use web chat, yes. Let's close that. Okay, now I'm talking to the bot update. Well, I'm gonna probably have to update it. We'll do that in another time. Um, first, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually add an item. Um, this is the page. I'm gonna add it into the description of the video on how to uh, add an item you want to buy or sell or both. So as you can see here, you can use the item's name. Uh, make sure if you type in item uh, is and then the name of the item, there are no spaces in between. In between the is and, uh, and the item and the name itself. So add space item, I'll, I'll show you guys, you, then you probably know how to do it. But there's also another way to add items is by the scoop parameter. And I'll show you guys how to do that as well. Like you can use marketplace.tf. So if you go to the items page, you can uh, well you can't see it, but there's a uh, in top of the URL, there's the item um, item skew, pretty much uh, the skew parameter. So that that's the skew you would get in the, in the URL. But there's also another way. So let me scroll down to this Australian sticky bomb launcher. Like let's say for example you have on backpack.tf like this. You see this item you want to buy it so let's right click on that do inspect and then on your right side you can scroll a bit up and there you can see uh, data def index is 207 you need to remember the data def index and the data quality data quality is 11 that 11 means it's strange and the data def index means the item itself so then we can go back to the to the wiki as you can see here 207 uh, semicolon I think it's pronounced and then 11 and then semicolon Australian because it's the Australian version and that's how to add items with SKU because sometimes it doesn't work if you type in this so now I'm gonna show you guys let's say we want to add a, we want to add a buy order for this so I can go to my bot right now and I have some classifieds running right now but let's say I want to make a new one um, like for this one so what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna just type in the name of the item. So let's type in exclamation mark. I think it's uh, this. Add item is strange. Oh, yeah, yeah. you can pretty much copy it. So a strange Australian sticky mail launcher. Then I forgot. I think you need to yeah you need to put an end sign like that, and and then your intent. And I think most of you are gonna use bank. Bank means buying and selling. Or you can use buy, which is for buying, and sell is for only selling. So I'm just gonna use buy, and then you can do another and sign, and then you can put in, uh, in a sell uh, or a sell dot keys and buy dot metal. So what we're gonna do is buy dot key. We can use buy dot keys is one, and then another and sign, and we can do buy dot metal is one. So if we type this in, it should work. Yeah, as you can see, it does a think I don't know how to say it it's uh, correct so add it blah 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 okay so now we can go to our classified on our bot and yes you, there you can see I want to buy a strange Australian ziggy bomb launcher for one key and one ref and if I already have the if I already have a strange Australian ziggy bomb launcher and I put up a sale order so if I put in the attempt sell so you just copy that over then or you can just put it on bank and you can add the sell and stuff in there as well so well, I can show you, but it's not going to do anything. You can do sell and then and sign sell dot keys is five, for example. And then this would work as well. Like it's going to, well, already priced. But then you have, if it's already priced, what you then have to do is copy all of this. And then instead of add, you need to type update. And then it's going to add in the sell, uh, 
So what I want to do now is just remove the item. So just copy over that again, and then remove space item is, and that will remove. So that's pretty much how to add that item. So now I'm gonna show you some more examples for um, other items. So let's uh, add this one onto the bot. So add item is, and then intent is buy and then end sign buy dot metal let me actually see how much is worth so I'm not okay it's five keys buy metal is like five so let's do that okay that works let's do another item this orbiting fire professional Ishanga so let me add that as well add item is and then attend is buy and end sign buy dot metal is five also added and then item three okay so it finally has loaded so we're gonna grab then this name as well and do the exact same add item is intent is buy and sign buy dot metal and buy dot keys works the same way buy dot keys and then you can put in one as I showed before but I'm just gonna do metal so I don't screw or anything over to an accident so by metal is one okay so as you can see um well as you can see I'm gonna show you uh there are the three buy orders one two and three that's pretty much how you set them up let's for example uh change this australian black box because we want to update it so as you saw before um we can't just copy over this and then change the price to five you actually have to do that change it to five and then in front you have to do update update and then it will update it so now we can refresh our buy orders and there it is so that's pretty much all there is right now to um, price items but what you can also do is um, do the same thing uh, let's just do update and then instead of intent you can do bank and then just enter and what that will do is just auto price as you can see here this one we we didn't we do we disabled auto price because we put in our own prices of buying and selling but you can also put the auto price on and i'm going to show you the auto price function is um hold on let me go back. what is auto price auto price as you can see what is auto price it's tf2 uses price.tf credits to nicholson at auto pricing source the prices are independent of tf2 autobot and they will automatically update as soon as they update. So if you put in bank and just intent this bank and then nothing, it will automatically put up prices for you. Um, I sometimes recommend this and then I sometimes don't recommend this because if you're selling an unusual and it's like quite uh, high uh, high tier and you want to sell it for a good amount, I wouldn't put it on automatic pricing. I would price it yourself. So yeah. And for low tier unusuals, I guess you can put on the outer pricer. I don't know. I haven't done that really either. But yeah, for like some items you want to bank, like uh, I don't know this um, the safeguard. You just want to buy and sell and outer price it. Don't look around uh, at it anymore. You can do then just uh, well, you need to take the name and then fill that in there. Item is and then. Uh, Boom, intent is bank and then it will update it. I'm not gonna do it because then I might probably buy it from someone and then I'm gonna hold it on for that long. So if you would do this, then it would update it. So that's all there is to the bot. And as I said, if you want to remove an item, remove item is and then the name. Oh, it's gonna be a bit screwed up. Okay, removed. And I'm gonna remove this one as well. Remove item is. Boom, and then this one as well, and then boom, item is, and that's all the items removed. As you can see, the buy orders are gone, and yeah. Also make sure you actually have enough uh, keys value or ref in total to actually buy, put up the buy order, otherwise it's not gonna put up the buy order, then it's uh, gonna be uh, hidden. You can still see the classified, but it's gonna be hidden for everybody else, because you don't have the exact amount to buy it. So. Keep that in mind. And yeah, that's pretty much the video. So I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.